um, round one, fullback, how, how's it all feel for you? Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Uh, at the same time, you know, you know, I've put in the hard work to, you know, get where I am right now. So no, nah, I'm just, um, you know, keen to see, you know, what myself and the boys can put out there for the week. You know, we've all been working hard, you know, for the last few months. So yeah, just, just real keen to get out there and show everyone what we can do. I'm glad that you, you know, you, you get to look back and, and say how much hard work's mm. put in because you know it, it is a big achievement, and you know, like uh, to get here through your journey as well, like. Did, I don't know, when you came across to the club, did you kind of think, oh, oh I want to be starting full back round one? Like, yeah, no, nah, it was never a, a goal of mine. Of course, I wanted to, you know, get a um, get a lot of inner experience. I wanted to come here, you know, show the coaches, show the boys what I can do. And, you know, um, a goal was to be in a, the round one team for NRL for me. Um, coming into this preseason, I've never really looked at a position. And you know, I've always kind of felt that I can play, you know, um, most places in the back line. So, yeah, I never really had a, a sole um, position to get my, um, you know, head around. But, um, yeah, definitely, um, yeah, worked hard and, and, you know, that's paid off by, you know, being named in round one. How does it feel to, sorry, how does it feel to have the club show that faith and confidence in you? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, Ciro, um, all the coaches, they've, you know, pretty much, um, back me from day one, you know, I came, I think, you know, coming in pre-season, I was training on the wing, training in centre, training in the halves, and then, you know, midway through, I got a little opportunity to, you know, train at fullback, and, you know, I was lucky enough to, you know, um, catch the eye of so, um, you know, um, he's come out and, and backed me to, you know, start this season off um, at the back, and, um, yeah, real grateful, just, he's shown the faith in me to, you know, lead the team around from the back. Um, I guess there was kind of a, not really a, a solid conversation. Um, I think uh, there was a point in pre-season where um, Jakey was down, you know, a few few of the boys went down and I kind of, you know, was lucky enough that, you know, I can cover a few spots. So I kind of just jumped in there for training and, you know, obviously um, Sarah kind of, you know, told me, you know, he's looking at me there for um, the start of the season. And then, yeah, I think about um, as soon as we got onto the new year, we kind of, just um, you know, tapped me on the shoulder and just said, you know, you're looking, you know, you're looking quite good out there. You know, how do I feel about you know playing playing back there? And I was just real, um, you know, confident in my abilities, and you know, I was able to you know show you know all the boys and and, and the coaches that you know I belong here. Obviously, Sarah is a very defence minded coach, and defence is actually a very mm. important role for a fullback. How's that? How's that been for you? Yeah, I think um, solely that's been my biggest um, you know working point in this whole preseason. I think. Um, you know, in terms of being vocal, um, um, you know, that, um, that's my strong point. Um, I'm, I'm real confident in how I can lead a team around from the back, especially in the defensive side. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the main thing that um, edged me over to, you know, be named at the number one spot. Also, with you and, with you and Reed there, it's, it's a new look spine. How's that? How do you, how do you feel like that combination's been going? Yeah, it's been good, obviously. You know, me and Reed were at Paralasi together, so we were able to, you know, um, get a feel for each other then. So coming into this new system, we kind of, you know, already had a little connection going there. So to be able to, be able to come in and this new look spine, um, you know, it hasn't been as as hard as, as I thought be, um, thought it would be. So because of Reed and his experience and his leadership, and he's really helped me to fill in that role there. Um, we're still working on that. Uh, we think think we had a, about a ten minute session um, at the back end of the last training session, and yeah, still working. It's a work in progress, but it's a work in progress. Seriously, what's um, Thomas Herbert got? You know, coming this way in that uh, front. Pardon me. What's he got coming for him with those high balls? Um, How scary is it? Yeah, oh, you know, you, you kind of just look up. Spot the ball and close your eyes and put your hands out and then hope for the best, pretty much. Well, that's my um, go-to with Birdo's balls anyway, so, yeah. It's a pretty deadly weapon, isn't it? Yeah, 100%, you know, um, you know, all seriousness, you know, uh, kicking game is huge, you know, in the game of in today's footy especially, so the way that he can, you know, go out there and, and produce that for us, it's a huge advantage for, you know, our whole team. Have you seen anybody in the NFL that even comes close to what he can do with a high ball? Um... Uh, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, Berto has um, ability to, you know, kick that high ball, especially, I think, in training, we, we ask him for certain um, kick spirals, torpedoes, over the tops, and he's, he's able to um, kick every single one every single time. So no matter what we ask of him, so he's pretty, yeah, it's a special talent. Is it, is it one of those things that's a skill? Obviously, he works at it, so it's a skill, mm. but is there something about him, is it how 
how tall he is, you know what I mean? Is that a natural ability? Or yeah, I go. Oh, that's what I mean. Like, he's a natural footballer, you know, everyone can tell that. So he's naturally very skilled. But at the same time, you know, he's out there every single session practicing that. So, you know, obviously he's very talented, but, you know, it's not luck. You know, he goes out there and works on that every single session. Mm. What's, been the, what's been the emphasis for you personally um, after the trial loss um, against the Sharks? Has there been anything in particular in your game that you've focused on in the last two weeks? Um... Not uh, really. I think the whole preseason, I've just kind of focused on honing in the um, ability to, to play fullback. And I think um, most of my NRL career, it's just kind of been floating around and practicing different skills and practicing different positions. But um, this whole preseason, I'm just kind of been working on specific um, fullback um, training, training movements, training um, skills, and that. So yeah, nothing, um, nothing too um, major, but just honing in on the specific schools, skills of a of fullback. Uh, as you mentioned how grateful you are to you know, your own staff for, you know, for, for having that faith in you, but like, how proud are you of yourself for what you're putting together? Yeah, like very, very proud, bro. Like obviously, you know, I've been floating around, um, you know, at the Warriors. I'm um, enjoying my time there, Parra, and, and I learned a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of um, stuff from there. You know, I was able to, you know, I've been able to, you know, be behind players like Roger um, at the Warriors, um, Gutho at Parra. So they've brought their two, you know, completely different players, you know, and just be able to um, soak in different um, parts of of the game from them. It's been, you know, amazing experience for me and. I'm just lucky enough I get to come to a new club and, you know, put that into work. Mm. How good has it been for you? Like, obviously, there was talk that Jake Gabriello and Jacob Kiraz were also in the running for that fullback spot, having mm. those two guys sort of as competition mm. for that role. Yeah, it's an awesome experience, you know. Like, obviously, yeah, Evo and, um, you know, Kiraz, they're exceptional players. You know, they've, we've seen Kiraz, you know, blow up the scene last year and evo has been a you know mainstay in this team for the last few years. So just be able to um, compete with those guys, you know, just always makes us self better. You know, there's no um, there's no ill intent towards anything. You know, we get together um, after every session, we talk about what we can do better, how we can um, find ways to help each other. So it's always just been a, a good um, motivating force for, you know, all of us. You mentioned Roger. There was chat that he actually might be coming back to the NRL. Yeah. Do you reckon still got it? Oh, if you watch him, um, you know, play in rugby for the Blues, you know, he's one, of, one in a gener generation talent. So, you know, I'm not surprised he could put himself um, anywhere. Mm. Thanks. Oh, good, sweet. Thank you, bro. Cheers. Thank you.